<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here on the show. It's recording the MLB news video here. The first video I still ended, of course. But let's get back to it. So, first thing I'll talk about is White Sox shortstop Tim Anderson. Uh, ahead of, he's uh, being at he, uh, the chances of White Sox shortstop Tim Anderson being traded is is quote in air quotes increasing. Ahead of August first trade debt of August first. August 1st's trade deadline and will be, in air quotes, especially likely if he's open to moving to second base. I mean, I know he's been heating up since the All-Star break, though, so that's going to help get better prospects, I feel, because I feel like he's played better uh, heating up since the All-Star break, though, but I mean, he hasn't hit a home run this season. Like, I get he's starting to heat up. He's getting base hits. He's getting on base. Maybe that'll help him get some better prospects, but I don't know, but I... If I was a team, I don't know if I'd be willing to give a lot of prospects for Tim Anderson. Because he's still hitting like 230. And he's hit a home run all season. Maybe he just needs a, train of, a change of scenery. But I don't know if his trade level can be more than a lower level prospect at this point. Even though he's been heating up since the All-Star break. Uh, the San Francisco Giants are among the team's quote, in air quotes, monitoring Mets right handed pitcher Justin Verlander if he if he is willing to waive his no trade clause. Maybe it's gonna be a good move. Uh, maybe Justin Verlander just needs a scene, a change of scenery outside the Mets. Maybe he's just he's just not built for New York. Um I if Farhan can fleece him again like the Davis and and Ruff trade, this could it's this could backfire. They're just trying to improve their team, but I just don't know if Verlander's going to improve their team. Like, I think the Giants pitching would be better. It's better than what they have. With, like, say, Alex Wood and Deslafani. But just Justin Verlander, even with a bad year, is better than those two combined. But I still don't know if I'd be willing to go up there and try and get Justin Verlander. Because I know, just compared to last year, he's just been so disappointing. Last year, like, a 175 ARA, just like a 3.75. Just too many walks. He's starting to show that age. Um, I just feel like Houston helped Justin Verlander pitch so good because they have good um, development or good pitching coaches over there. I just feel like that this year in the Mets, they just don't have those good coaches over there, good pitching coaches like the Houston Astros. I'd be honest. So, Padres left-handed pitcher Blake Snell. He feels like San Diego is, quote, buying at the deadline and, quote, would love to stay with the Padres amid trade rumors, per Dennis Lynn. Snell uh, told Lynn of the Athletic, quote, I'd love to stay here. I love it here. We'll see. That's part of my, um, that's p that part's out of my control, end quote, adding that, quote, I'd rather finish this year here and see what happens, end quote. And he, Snell added, later added, end added, quote, I think we're buying. That's what I feel like. I just thought we got to keep winning, end quote. Well, thank God. Thank God he's not the GM. I feel like his GM literally said the same thing. Like, Preller, blame Preller, though, for inst instilling this false sense of hope in his players. Like, keep winning? When the hell they start winning? I, I mean, they're 10-6 in July so far, but that's a small sample size. He's a great pitcher. Now, if the Padres would have, patient, would have been patient and let their once ranked top ranked farm system producing the majors, they would have probably been a top three team in the MLB. But instead, they trade away guys like Quantrill, Naylor, Abrams, Gore, Ty France, and a bunch of other guys and studs and bad trades when they when now they don't have those type of prospects. I feel like the Padres might be selling. I doubt Snail is getting sold, but you know you ain't making the playoffs. But some good transactions could be made for next year. I just don't know if he's going to get moved mid-season. But you're going to be sold off for a bag of chips and maybe have a soda. AJ Preller's a moron, so. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised if the Padres sale. But I feel like maybe they could still try and contend, but. I just don't know with this year's team, man. <laughs> so, outfielder Cody Bellinger um, is reportedly, quote, in the loop with the Cubs amid trade rumor speculation. Having the August 1st deadline, per Jesse Rogers. Bellinger said via Rogers, quote, 
we're a very open communication group here. I'm in the loop of what could happen, what could have happened, what couldn't happen, and added, I've never been in this situation before, so don't know what to say or what to say, so I'm just going to say I'm going to focus on the game, end quote. I mean, parents say, oh, they shouldn't trade him, but I thought this is highest value he's going to get, and he, if... If he won't sign an extension with the, the Cubs, then they'll have to trade him. Because if you're not going to sign an extension, you can't just let him go after having a good season for nothing. Because I feel like he could still get some, um, you could get some good play for uh, Bellinger uh, having a, a bounce back season. He's having a great year. I don't know what team he'll go to. I could see maybe the Rays. Maybe. A Blue Jays reliever, Chad Green, is set to begin a rehab assignment with Toronto uh, after rehabbing for Tommy John surgery last June. Uh, he has a career 3.17 ERA across 382.2 innings since debuting with the Yankees in 2016 and can look to bolster Toronto's bullpen down the stretch for a potential playoff run. I'm not going to lie, I didn't know he ever signed with them. They could be another legit bullpen arm. I didn't know the Blue Jays ever gone about Apparently they signed him in the offseason. So there's some of the Diamondbacks have reportedly shown interest in White Sox running pitcher Lucas Giolito. Man, I guess the D-backs are paying attention to what the Dodgers want. Now they're interested in Lucas Giolito. I can see all three of these teams in the NL West trying to get Lucas Giolito. The Web, the Giants need pitching. Besides Logan Webb, their starting pitching is pretty bad. The Dodgers, with all their injuries, need to get a, a starting pitcher. Lucas Giolito is probably the, more, the most realistic option. And the Diamondbacks, outside of Merrill Kelly and Zach Gallen, they need to get another pitcher. So, two of them had bad rotations outside of, like, Logan Webb for the Giants, and then Gallen and Kelly for the D-backs, and the Dodgers are just injured and need to get one. Um, Trevor Story began a rehab assignment for the Red Sox yesterday, and will be, it will be serving as a DH, and will play shortstop, shortstop Sunday down in the minors. So, was Trevor Story looks like he's going to come back. I'm not going to lie, I forgot he existed, but wishing the best for him, though. Yes, yeah, all for the MLB, so I'm going to upload this MLB video. I'll do some more news videos later. I'm going to watch the truck race, and after that, do a recap for that, and then get to some news videos, and then the Xfinity race later. Uh, probably like 7 o'clock after it ends, so yeah. Um, until next time, I clock. Peace.